all the shady reasons, and that is you put a lot of money into the game, and you're hacking, right? I mean, that is the only reason. What's up guys welcome back to another video on Diablo Immortal what I want to talk about today is the farming right in the open world or farming in dungeon so I'm gonna start off right off the bat if you're wondering which one is better it is the dungeon I mean I don't care what people are telling you online about farming in the open world It's great to get experience here and there at this point in time at this like server paragon I guess 100 and 80 something level is irrelevant i mean sure i mean if you need to get to like hell five now then obviously but uh nobody is in hell five it doesn't really matter um but essentially at this point in time it's kind of irrelevant as long as you're over level 150 you're good to go right and farming in the open world for experience when the server paragon is constantly moving like i was above it right i mean it was negative 50 percent now i'm back at 80 percent the server paragon will always push your level so farming in the open world is not that great unless you're looking you're just starting right you're starting out and you're looking for legendary essences but even that right you don't really need it anymore because you could do it in the dungeon but of course, another good reason about farming in the open world is because um, if you can't find people to play in Hell 1, Hell 2, or whatever the hell it is that is below whatever is happening now. So that is the only reason why you farm in the open world. Now, there are also other shady reasons, and that is you put a lot of money into the game and you're hacking. Right. I mean, that is the only reason I see that people want to farm in the open world because you don't get sets in the open world. Now, you get do get sets in the dungeon that can make you much more powerful. And, of course, you do get legendaries in the dungeons as well. And then you have the new added chest, right, which makes all the difference. So there is really no point in farming in the open world unless you really don't know what you're talking about. But... You know, of course, there are players that want to play solo, and you can't do that in the dungeon, right? So that's why I think the dungeon is a better, like, better thing to do, because you actually have all these things you can get that you can't get in the open world. But of course, there are benefits of the open world if you like playing solo, right? And, you know, some people talk about the experience, but I already kind of debunked that and said it's irrelevant. I mean, you can be level... 190 now and then in a few days the par server paragon is level 190 so you know it will move you there so it is kind of irrelevant right so anyways of course you can also get legendaries from the the hilt trader you know you get that once a week of course you can get legendary from the gambler you can gamble for it so many ways to get legendaries but if you're focused on getting legendaries in the open world i think that's a complete waste of time because unless of course you have everything and you just feel like playing the open world and for you know the most of us we don't have everything right you're missing the sets you're missing uh legendary gems right you don't have the power to do it right the power to spend your time wasting on uh, the open world but if you do have the power if you're like a whale then obviously you can farm in the open world if you wish but for most people I'm talking about you know you need to get the set which will increase your damage some of the sets increase damage by 15% primary damage or channel skill damage whatever the damage it gives you also decrease or I guess a shield like this 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 one very very beneficial and of course you can find upgrades like look three plus three cr rings right i mean that is beneficial and of course you can get upgrades for legendary as well so anyways the best place to farm is in the dungeon hands down i mean for those that do bot i would like if i was botting right i don't even know how the bots work in this game if i was botting 
I would bot in the open world. Right, that's the best thing. You don't have to worry about partying with others. You could just play it solo. I mean, bot solo, my bad. Bot it, you know, and then, you know, when you wake up or maybe come back from work, that's all you can play the dungeons. I know a lot of people do that, and even though they say they don't, I guarantee you they do. Because half of them that I played with was like, oh, I'm going to sleep. And then you see them running around in the open world botting. And so that it's great for bots. That's what I feel. And often people that do only bot and don't play the game as much don't understand the mechanics of a game and then they will tell you oh the best place to farm is in the open world well it's only op best place if you bot right but anyways that's all for this video i just wanted to discuss open world versus dungeon farming we'll be back in the next video stay tuned for that one as i share with you my gaming experience